Right, back at New Douglas Park for our final home game of the season against Partick Thistle. Lineups are already out, of course, and a bit of confusion about this one, to be honest. First of all, um, at how it remains so unchanged. Um, I know we all were hoping we would see a return maybe to the back five, but he stuck with the back four. And a bit of confusion about who's playing fullback. I imagine it'll be Lawson right back and Tumulty left back. Um, kind of how it ended the last game with Lawson at right back. But given that he was at fault for two of the goals, or the two goals, it's strange that he's been kept at right back. So that's an interesting one. Uh, Winter comes in as does Zanata. So happy Winters came into the team. Ben Extra Seal, I genuinely, I, I think, I'm sorry to say, it, I think he's hopeless. Um, I don't understand how he's retaining his place and, and Stevenson, for example, isn't playing. But Winter comes into the team. Daniel Zanata, he's not offered anything for a, a good while now. So I don't know. I'm not confident ahead of this game, as you can probably tell. I think, well, I think we'll ship a few goals today. And, uh, you know, Pont Thistle, you know, they can't win the league, but they're still hoping to finish as high as they can. So they'll still be fighting for something. We should be fighting to stave off relegation, but we've not had fight in the team for a while, or for a long time, I should say. Obviously, our bro take on Cove the day. If our bro win, we're Desic, we're definitely uh, bottom two. That's that's how it is. Uh, if Cove win, then we are bottom, uh, a point behind. If it's a draw, um, things remain as they are. So, but it's still resigned, I'm pretty sure, to bottom two. Not looking forward to this game whatsoever. Um, Let's hope that they prove everybody wrong and they get three points, but I don't see it. Looks to be a back four with Mimno at left back and Tumulty at right back. Wow. Not what I expected to see. About ten minutes gone and Pardig have just hit the post and had one up here off the line. If that's a sign of what's to come, then it's not good reading. There it is, half an hour in. Pardig do take the lead. Just after Ryan Phil with double save. Another, another brilliant couple of saves for Ryan Phillips. They keep it level. It has Brian Graham. Nods in with the header. Hackers are 1 0 down here. It's going pretty much the way we predicted. Hackers go on level. Corner in from Connor Smith. And Dan O'Reilly gets it. First blast into the back of the net. Brings his level here. That's a good goal, another goal for a set piece though. But we do find ourselves level. Half time, and Izaki's one first, this one. It's a good goal to equalise, but I think the end of that second half, last 10 minutes, we were on top of them, we were causing them problems, keeping the pressure on. But, you know, we still look a little bit shaky in the back at times. There was one moment where Ben Nash said we run through one and one and just fell over. He's not a good enough striker for Ambo Rackies. Um, still one each year. As it stands, our broken goal are still nil at half time as well. We'll see how, we, how that going goes, but one and half time isn't terrible. We've still plenty to play for. We've still got a chance to get three points. 30 minutes to go, it's still one each. Partick have had two, or they've had three massive chances. Brian Graham puts one away, but he's offside. One, the player blasts it over to inside the six yard box. Another, there, he rounds the keeper and Tomlety blocks it basically on the line. Like, at this stage is where you need to start making changes. They are starting to take the ascendancy. I'd be taking Seal off straight away, get Teehee on. But I'd start making changes now because they're starting to put pressure on, they're starting to make chances. We need to start stepping up and again here, it's another corner for Partick. They're in the ascendancy, they're in the ascendancy here, we need to change something. And for the last five minutes, still one each. It's getting nervy now because at the point, is it enough? We need three. Currently still now now our growth and cove as well, so <laughs> point isn't enough. Aki's about a corner here. It's all kicking off for the second time in the last five minutes. It looks like the keeper has just booted Lou Spence. And he's not gonna send them off. He's booking them both. But the keeper looks like he's kicked out at Lou Spence. And all the players are playing together. Five Looks minutes ago, we've just got Blair and Cove have just went 1 0 up as well. As it stands, we're still second bottom. We are level on points with Cove, but Cove, we're level on points with Cove, sorry, goal difference. Cove do have a game in hand going next week. 
Less than two minutes afterwards, pretty much straight from kickoff, they go up the other end and score. Do not believe this man. Full time, and it's Aki's two, part of Thistle two. Yet another late goal conceded, meaning we don't. Meaning we don't walk away with all three points from a winning position. Dan O'Reilly gets two in this game. I don't even know what minute the second goal was, but we went 2-1 up and less than two minutes later we concede yet again. <sighs> we were in the position where you were looking at our growth game thinking we can still clinch eighth now, but <sighs> with both of those ha those teams having a game in hand, I don't see it happening now. Three points gave away yet again in the last few minutes of the game. Right, no game at the weekend obviously Next will be our bro Friday night away A game which could potentially Not mean a huge amount Depending on how other results go But we'll be there and we'll See what happens uh, Thanks again for watching, appreciate it And we'll see you soon